welcome back guys after a while i have created another video on postgres so this is not a regular postgres tutorial but in this video i am going to teach you about how to use postgres and do advanced stuff like importing data from csv and exporting to csv and like that i will teach you about how to use roles and so on the fuzzy concept in postgres so let's get started so before telling you anything about postgres i want to tell you about something that you really need to understand before learning postgres so postgres is basically a relational database management system and it is foundation of applications for providing a structured way to store organize and access information so Postgres also provides the implementation of SQL or structured query language and it is suitable for small to large projects and the advantage of using Postgres in a project is that it has very high concurrency without read locks and it is also an open source and robust database it is very robust than other databases like MySQL and SQLite so for smaller projects it is okay to use this SQLite but for large projects that need high concurrency you must use Postgres and the other competitor of competitors of Postgres are uh, Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server but they are a paid software so it may not be a good choice for startups and those who are just using it for smaller scale projects so the another disadvantage of talking about the disadvantage of Postgres is that if you need a fast read database and then it is Postgres is not a good choice so if you all you need is a fast read then you may want to go for databases like MySQL and so on so let's get started I want to before anything else you need to download Postgres into your computer or machine so Depending upon your operating system and architecture 32 or 64 bits you may need to download from this page so I will post the link to this page in the description below so I am using Postgres in Ubuntu so this must be my choice so my Ubuntu version is 16.04 and I am going to copy this and paste in my terminal and just download and install it and so because I have already installed Postgres I am not going to walk you through all of these steps of installing the software because installing every software is pretty straightforward and self-explanatory it is also described in this page how to download and install so let's not waste our time in there so after you have downloaded the Postgres in your system then Postgres Postgres creates a new user in your system called Postgres and so if you want you to access the database all you need to do is switch your normal user to the Postgres user so the command to switch the normal user to Postgres user is sudo su and name of the user so Postgres and it enters so you need to provide the root password here so it enters so now you can see you have switched into the Postgres user so to exit out of this Postgres user all you need to do is press exit so the better way of switching to the Postgres user is sudo dash i and user flag and Postgres so shift enter now you are already inside of this Postgres user so to start a prompt all you need to type is psql here psql so now it is ready for entering all of your sql commands so you cannot enter your sql command from this bash cell so you need to switch into this prompt using the psql command and start typing all of your sql in here so the first thing I want to show you in here is how to check what databases are present in this Postgres. So to check what databases are present in this database, so all you need to do is backslash and L and hit enter. So you can see here I have got pretty much many databases in here and these are the names of database these are the owners and encoding and all of these things access rights and also 
I want to just get inside of this say I want to get inside of this Sunday market development database so the command to do is to that is backslash and connect Sunday market development and press enter so you can see here I am now connected to this Sunday market development database here so to list all of these all of these tables inside this database all you need to do is backslash and D Sunday market so you don't need to do that and backslash and D must be good here so you can see here these are all of these tables inside that Sunday market development database so I am interested in this users table now so we have the Sunday market development database and inside this we have all the tables now we are interested in this users table so press Q and so if you want to see the data inside the users table so enter the as regular SQL command SQL command So you can see here I have only one user in here because it is a pretty long table you just get crap so I just want to see email in here so you can see here I have just one row and it is showing me the email so, so to get out of this prompt so all you need to do is backslash and Q and it is not clear I just mistyped it so so the next thing I want to show you is how to import the CSV file. So I have already downloaded the CSV called Iris CSV. Iris CSV from Kaggle. You can see here the if you want to check the structure of this file here, it say here it has ID, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and species. So I want to import this CSV data into my database. So I want to get inside my prompt again so the first thing I want to do is create a new table and put all of this heading information in there so let's do that first create table say iris and we want id to be integer integer we want sepal length to be safe float and we want sepal width We want petal length to be also float and petal width float and the next thing is we want species species say it is a bar car. So the final thing is I need to define which one is the primary key. Primary key is ID so so it enters so now we have created a table so if you want to check the describe the table so you can simply say backslash s and iris you can see here i have id and it is primary key as you can see here it has already put an index in here so binary tree it is basically a mechanism for searching data in the table so all i need to do now to copy this data from this csv file into the my database now is copy copy iris name of the database that you have and from and say i want to see the location of this file here so if you go into properties here you can see this is the location of my file so I want to write home slash desktop and iris.csv so the next parameter I want to pass is I don't want the header again so because I have already created all of this so I don't want the header again so I don't want this thing to appear again in my data so I will put header so it will just exclude the header and 
I want to tell some information about the delimiter here. DE delimiter is comma since it's a CSV file and I want to say CSV in here and just press return. So you can see here it has already copied 150 data from this CSV into the database table. So you can see here it has 150. So let's check if it uh, if it has really did that. So select asterisk from iris. Oops. I need to from. So I got missing there. So you can see here we have already copied all of this data from this CSV file into the into the database. So the next thing I want to teach you is how to export this csv file into the file okay so the command to do export is let me just quit and first clear the screen and again enter into the prompt so the command to copy the file into the csv is copy and enter the sql or sql command of what data do you want to copy into that file so select Say I want to say select select um, species. I just want the name of the species. Okay, so select as species from iris. So I just want to copy the name of the species from the database table. So I wrote that and do here. And so I want just put your location. Where do you want to copy? So slash desktop see I want to desktop and give a name of the file here so species csv csv and I also want the header no I want I don't want header so I want to just give another information of delimiter delimiter so in just copy the CSV and here the problem is that the permission has been denied because it has not got the right permission so if you change the permission here then you can easily export this file so this is basically the command now you can just change the permission and just continue on using the postgres so that's it guys so thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so if you have any questions or do not understood something then you can certainly ask into the into the following comment section and thanks for watching guys